Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be doing a review on the newest product of Altea Korea. This is their Petal Velvet Powder. First of all, I want to say thank you to Miss Tammy for sending this package. And I get um, to review this um, newest product from them. So, let's go ahead and start, of course, with the packaging. The packaging was sent to me like this. It's very pretty. As you can see inside, there's some petal or some rose petals, some feathers, and the box. Or the packaging of this petal velvet powder is the same color as um, the packaging or the big box that they usually send their products to. So uh, let's go ahead and check their online website just so I can give to you um, the exact information. As of the moment, it's sold out. But if it will be back in stock... The price is $4.50 for 3 grams. It says here it is um, for all skin types and the color is translucent. So basically, this newest powder from Athea Korea it claims that it works on all skin types. So it says here it is a makeup setting powder which is long wearing it has sebum control it has pore blurring effects it has natural and cruelty free ingredients um, it's micro fine particles and soft and smooth textures so this powder is the one i am wearing right now on my face and i will show you a short clip on how i did use this petal velvet powder before i move on to the application and the review i want to share with you first my skin type so i am normal to dry to extremely dry <laughs> So when I don't moisturize, my face can get really, really dry to the point that I can get dry patches all of a sudden. And when I do moisturize, that's the time that my face can be normal and, you know, just normal, well-hydrated skin. So before I did apply this um, powder, I already did um, spray on some face mist. I used um, a face mrs is from suway i also did use a primer which is the misha cushion primer and for my um cushion i did use the kill cover um cushion which is very very pigmented or i would say very very full coverage so i did try it on and then i noticed at first um that this powder is very smooth very silky it's it's finely milled that it somehow reminded me of the aritom or master sebum control powder this one it reminded me of this one and then so it has a puff small puff so that's the one i use to put it on my face so, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the sponge or use a brush. Medyo natatakot ako. Kasi I have dry skin. Teka. Tap ko lang ng konti yung um, sponge or itong puff. Tapos, let's try this side. I guess I'm going to do what I uh, normally do on my everyday makeup routine so i'm going to pat this powder all over my face and then dust it off later and then i used a powder brush to sweep away any excess powder on my face and right away i noticed that my side of my nose and my under eye area, they're starting to cling on to my fine lines and dry patches. So, it surprises me a lot because this petal velvet powder is finely milled that I don't know why it tends to make my skin drier. Because I know this is very lightweight the feeling but then again it made my skin dry so what i did was this is 
my secret. I don't know if it's a secret or I mean, maybe just a tip. If you have dry skin like I do and you like to set your face with a loose powder, I spray on some face mist. Any face mist will do. I have here from Sway. I have here from Nature. This is a Korean brand. So I just spritz on some face mist on my face, wait for it to dry, and then miraculously, you will see right away that the powderiness and the cakiness and the dry patches will somehow go away. So that's what I noticed when I first spray on the face mist on, it, on my face and then after quite some time it looks something like this right now so as you can see my face is very natural looking it gives me a little bit of glow I like that it looks very natural on my face see that I don't know if you can see any difference but it gives me a bit of a white cast I'm not sure if it's just from my um, ring light but it looks too white on my face I don't know if it's just me but I guess because it's translucent maybe sooner or later they will come out with a shade because yeah so far so good I did like it just take note that if you have dry skin you will not like it at first but then again a tip just spray on some mist face mist and your face will be okay your face will be looking like this very radiant very natural looking thumbs up so that's it guys that is my short review on the newest product of Altea Korea this petal velvet powder so at first I was a little bit scared to use this loose powder because I have a dry skin but then again Please be reminded that if you have dry skin and you're worried that you, you are starting to see dryness on your face, just go ahead and spray any face mist. Let it dry and it will melt into your skin. It will like, it will bind <laughs> to your makeup or I don't know how you say it, but it will all come into one. It will look something like this, which is very surprisingly radiant very surprisingly natural looking so there you have it guys thank you again althea for sending this product to me if you have any questions or requests comment down below thank you for watching guys and i will see you on my next video